Hi, I'm an exotic chicken collector. I'm here to tell you what kind of birds I have and how they are as pets so you can know your future chicken potential. I've got fluffy chickens, curly chickens, mean chickens, and black chickens. So here they are, and then I'm gonna tell you how to get them if you want them. Let's do the obvious ones first, the silkies. Everyone loves silkies. They're your classic fuzzy chicken, known for their kind-hearted nature. These guys are super good family pets and tend to be really nice, even the roosters, except for a couple outliers. I have been absolutely mauled by exactly one silky, and I've had many, many silkies. They're so sweet and fluffy and basically lap chickens that don't really act like chickens, so because of this, they oftentimes get picked on by other breeds of chicken. You can also get ones with naked necks. They come in a lot of cute colors. You got black, white, orange, paint, or more. Fun fact, their meat is also black, and it's a delicacy. Uh, I don't know who's really out here eating silkies. But in all honesty, they're dumb as hell, and they can't see very good due to their fur. So let's talk about a real smart bird next. Polish chickens. I like these guys a lot because they're friendly enough, and they're just a very curious breed, and they're always getting into shit. Mittens, you are all wet. These guys come in brilliant colors and lacing. You've got your golden lace, silver laced, other kinds of lace, or black crusted white, toll bunt, and more. Both roosters and hens are very cute. Boys look like that nickelback guy, and girls kind of look like Bob Ross. These guys lay a lot of eggs, coming in at 150 to 200 eggs a year. Model Houdans. Kind of look like Polish, but they have a different number of toes and they are always bearded. I made you guys a little collage to better explain what chicken beards mean. These ones in specific have the signature polka dots up their legs because they're mottled. I just have a huge soft spot for crested birds, really. Here's a cute little baby Houdan. Can't beat that hairdo. These guys lay even more eggs than the Polish, just by a little bit. And also their eggs are bigger. Frizzles are the curly chickens. But keep in mind that these come in any breed. Frizzle describes the feather type on a chicken rather than the chicken breed itself. That leaves us with all sorts of interesting breeds of chicken growing their feathers in these little curly patterns. I have a frizzled cochin, a sizzle, which is a silky frizzle, and then these cool guys. This is a Sarama frizzle. So, what's a Sarama? Saramas are your tiny chickens, and I'm mad obsessed with collecting these. They're about the size of one handful, and they have a weird upright V posture with their wings almost touching the ground. Because they're so absolutely tiny, they are kind of hard to hatch, but, but when they do, they sure are cute and uh, small. <laughs> They lay minuscule eggs, um, embarrassingly tiny, really. The dudes are super tiny, so yeah, they sound dumb as fuck. Lots of people keep these as house chickens. So, Spitzalbins. They are perfect for you if you want a breed of chicken that is absolutely terrified of you and all human contact at all times. They are flighty motherfuckers. These are the ones that grow little polka dots or little heart patterns in their feathers. They're very cute. 
I've had them in both gold and silver, and they have an absolutely beautiful crow. It sounds kind of like a song. And of course they have a sick ass hairdo. I don't know, I think these chickens hate us. I really do. They produce a decent number of eggs and they look cool. That's it. Side note, if you're seeking a healthy treat for your flock, you have to try Grub Terra soldier fly larva. Which is the perfect source of protein and calcium. You can do this too. If you use code MOPOOFLES, you get 10% off your entire purchase, delivered right to your door. My flock loves Grub Terra. Check out the link below. I crossed a bunch of these breeds with each other to create ultimate cuteness. Cleo is a satin, which is from a silky cross. I also have some Polish silkies. This is a Spitzki, or a Spitzauben silky. Some of my crosses do come out ugly, so don't take my advice, I don't know. So, what's next? I have a stupid amount of birds right now, but my future plans include these. Of course, the I am Samani, your standard goth chicken. Their eggs are not black, just them. I like the Aseals or the dinner table chickens because that's how tall they are. But these birds are dicks. They are made for fighting and need to be kept accordingly. I really like the Cerberites or... Cerberite, Seabrite. I don't know how to say that word. They're a lot like the Saramas, but they have huge eyes and I want 10. If you're interested in getting a crazy chicken, here's how. I prefer using hatcheries since they vaccinate for me, they're easy to pick and oftentimes show quality, but this is best if you're ordering a bunch of chickens and not just a couple. Oh gosh. Come here. I know, come here. If you want just one fancy chicken or maybe two, then check out local chicken hatcheries or Facebook or Craigslist. Lots of livestock groups post their chickens online. Yeah. Thanks for watching and every time you subscribe, my microphone quality gets a little better. If you or someone you know is really into the silkies, check out my new merch. I made these. They are on Etsy. Link in the description. Howdy there, my name's the Bacon Bandit, the greasiest gunslinger in the West. Birds are not real.